Hello peeps, Lisa there. Yeah, and I just wanted to quickly show you this one. Um, it's my latest build, it's electric diddly bow one string. As you can see, I've used a three string of pickup for this one, um, which I put in lengthways. So basically it will just pick up on one string. This is one of the oldest boxes that I own actually. I got this in my first consignment and uh, it's a My Father cigar box. Um, if you look on the back, back is actually the front of the cigar box and it's got this lovely shape into it um, as per usual uh, it's just a mop handle which I basically stained with the usual tea and cheap coffee the sort of cheap coffee you get from Poundland or a dollar store whatever you wouldn't drink it but it makes excellent stain um, as for the tea you want to use an expensive brand something like um, Taylor's or Twining's, you just seem to get a better result. <laughs> anyway, I'm waffling on. You see the saddle piece and the tail piece, that's the ends knocked out of two rivets. If I spin her over, you can see it's the same on the front. Um, that basically just stops the string pulling through. I've only just strung this guitar. I've no idea what she's tuned to because I've just kind of tuned her up a little bit and I'm waiting for the strings to stretch. But um, there she is, absolutely lovely. And there's that way around. So yeah, the box is kind of inverted and the back becomes the front, the front becomes the back. Um, I'm gonna give you a little tune on this anyway. First you can see how she sounds acoustically, because she has got a lovely tone. Uh, there's no resonators or anything in there. Um, just the metal hinge piece to stop the string digging into the body. Um, the usual nut and bolt couple of grommets just to stop it digging in, a uh, couple of grommets with the sound holes um, and the usual on the side I've marked her up 3rd, 5th, 7th and 12th just using a solder, soldering iron um, and just little solder burns on there lovely so let's see how she sounds um, plastic button makes a nice heavy pick so there it goes. <laughs> Not played it yet, so you're the first to hear, right? Beauty. So if we plug her into little Roland and uh, put some effects on her, let's see how she sounds. Not tried her yet, so uh, the excitement is mounting. <laughs> okay. There you go. She's just got a little bit of um, gain, not too much gain. Um, set to acoustic. Uh, chorus. And a slight delay on her, ever so slight. I've got the tone down, the volume's about in the middle, and the master's just below the middle. And as you can see, there's quite a nice echo to that. Lovely. Give her a little bit more gain. See how she sounds. Bit of flange. Bit more gain. A little bit more tone. And a wee bit of master on there. Let's set her down to JC Clean, whatever that means, and we'll see how she sounds. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Yeah, strings are still stretching, so uh, I'm going to fiddle around with her a little bit more. 
And um, if you've made it to the end, as always, thanks for staying with me. Um, <laughs> it means a lot. Um, let me know what you think. Put something in the comments uh, if you'd like to see something similar. I will be uploading a couple more videos soon, going a little bit into how they're built and stuff like that, because I know that's uh, what people want to see, really. Um, yeah, that's what I like to do. Half the fun's building them. As I always say, I do love my guitars, but really, you can't beat a diddly bone, and they're my favourites. So, um, yeah, job done. And uh, I'll play you out. Okay. See you soon then, peeps. Thanks for, thanks for calling in. Bye. Bye.